How's it going everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a home router from your ISP so that you can connect to your ISP and get out to the internet. My, the issue I had in the first place was my internet connection kept going down. So I called my ISP and they tested the modem signal levels and told me, oh yeah, I see the problem. You got an old router modem combo. So they gave me one free of charge, which yours should also give you free of uh, a new router free of charge if you're having issues. So what I'm getting ready to do is connect this and disconnect the old one. So let me show you what's happening. If you want to come on over here, y'all, and come check it out. So what I have here is this is the modem and router combo that's actually connecting this whole network to the internet. It comes in through this thick white cable, which is, a, which is a coaxial cable. I have cable internet. And then there's an ethernet cable that runs from one of the LAN ports on this to this uh, Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro. The Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro is a firewall and security appliance that I use to pretty much do most of the, the routing out to the modem. Uh, and then this, of course, is acting as a wireless access point so that the devices on the network that are on the Wi-Fi actually connect to this router first. So this switchover should only require me to move the ca two cables over to this device, and then I'll have to get on the, the app or call the ISP in order to activate the connection. So here we go. I'm just disconnecting this Ethernet cable. I'm getting this coaxial cable unscrewed. If you want to come check out what that looks like. I'm unscrewing it right here. So you see that? And then I'm going to disconnect this. That'll be something we give back to them or throw out. And then I'm gonna connect this. So I'm gonna first screw this in. And you know, it's not nothing special to screw this in. And then we are going to get the power going for this as well. And this is one part I'm gonna I wanna make sure y'all know about. And that's this this Ethernet cable right here that I disconnected is going to run from this dream machine to the modem. The reason being is because this modem is gonna give the IP address, the public IP address to this uh, dream machine. So I'm plugging into the back here on the ethernet port. This router only has one ethernet port. And we'll see if we get power. It's powering on now. And that's it for over here. The next steps, I'm gonna just call the ISP or go into the app and activate the device. I'll know that it's working if our network has internet. So that's how you set up the device. Make sure you follow the processes that your ISP has for you, whether that's going into an app and activating it or calling the support number to activate it. I hope this helped you and uh, keep learning. One more thing before I let you go. Uh, once you've got that router modem combo connected and that cable screwed in and you've called the ISP or used that app to activate that router modem combo, you're gonna wanna test to make sure you have internet connection. So at this point, devices in your house should be coming back online, whether it was on you know YouTube or some TV show that was playing and that was buffering and now it's playing again. You should go on your phone or any other mobile device and go to fast.com, F-A-S-T.com. It's powered by Netflix, and what it's doing is it's testing the network connection from your device, your phone, to the Internet. And let's say you have 200 megabits per second download speed. You should see that in its test, at least something around that speed. Um, so when I test it, I'm aware of, you know, we, you're usually sharing an internet connection with people in your neighborhood so that if it's coaxial cable, it goes out to the street and 
everybody's ha other ha everybody's house is in that area if you have any other neighbors they're most likely also using that same ISP so while you're not in the same exact network in your house once it gets to the street and, and beyond you're pretty much sharing that connection so you won't always get the perfect 200 megabits per second that's promised by your internet service provider or you might get more than that I just I'm saying that because that's what we get at my place uh, but that, that's how you want to test it. Uh, you'll want to monitor this over the next few days. Remember, I told you that I got a new, I called my ISP because this issue was all of a sudden internet connection will go down in my house. And it didn't seem like there was a good reason for that. Um, my Wi-Fi would stay up. How did I know? Because I could tell my computer was still connected to the Wi-Fi. My phone was still connected to the Wi-Fi. But... Uh, we just didn't have internet connection for a moment. And then it would come back up randomly. So, um, yeah. So if you're having this issue, I hope this helped you. Uh, I hope it helped you set up the new device. If you haven't thought about calling your ISP about this, I would recommend calling them and asking them, hey, can you test my modem signal levels? I want to make sure that uh, nothing's wrong there. And um, one uh, another thing, I'm so sorry to hold you, but the... I've had some people who I help, I go out to their house and I help them with technology issues and I'll come across this very strange thing. And I think it's something ISPs need to do better of. And what, what it is, is I, I, so I went to a house, a, a lady that I helped, she's, she's an awesome person and I helped her with a bunch of things. And one day I noticed her internet connection was very slow. And uh, I, I went to fast.com and I noticed she was getting like one megabit per second, which is absolutely unacceptable in 2024. And she, I asked her if I could see her bill. And she brought her bill upstairs because she, she keeps really good notes. And she showed me that she was paying like $100 for this connection. And I, I was like, hold on a second. Let me look at this modem. So I go around the back and I look at the modem. And it's got a phone cable, RJ11, which is the little thin phone cable, connected. And it says DSL connection. And I was like, hold on a second. This is DSL in 2024? And so I went online and I noticed for her provider was AT&T. I could see that AT&T has an option that's $60 for like 300 megabits per second download. So, you know working with her to get a new con internet connection out there but some of the isps are overcharging for what you're getting and they're just so big that sometimes they don't really proactively look to make sure all their customers are getting updated equipment or even updated services that are available in the area for the price so to me it is unacceptable for that organization to to be charging her that much money for a DSL connection. There's something wrong there. Um, so if that's you, comment below. If you need some help, feel free to reach out to me. I can I can provide you some advice and help on this. Um, and, and but until next time, keep learning.